This is the non-confirming Parsi, Nozer Pardiwala, and you are listening to Ban Maska Season Three, the most successful formula to be unsuccessful. Formula number four: Be a jack of all trades, master of none. I wasn't the one to give up, so I kept chasing one mirage after another. I wasn't a jack of all trades, but definitely wasn't even a master of one. I tried hands-on photography. I bought a SLR camera of one of the best camera companies with a normal lens and a zoom lens of a little less reputed brand. This venture was completely sponsored by my dad, and the only thing I bought was a tripod with my own money and the film rolls. That was the time of film rolls and not memory cards, so every frame was worth and couldn't be wasted. The aperture and the shutter speed were to be manipulated, and light and shadow had to be played with. It wasn't the time of computer touch-ups, and digital medium was just setting in. I learned photography at a photography club where it was taught in a typical school syllabus manner: the history and geography of photography. Who invented what? Types of lighting, grains in an image, and developing techniques took up the major part of learning photography. I personally felt it is more of a practical, instinctive medium, and irrespective of who invented the first camera, it depended more on one's ability to create an image out of a moment. I had been an ardent fan of songs of Guru Dutt films, and had seen quite a few of his films too. Rembrandt lighting is what he always used for most of his portraits. I wanted to practically use it and see the result, not learn in theory how it is done. I experimented a lot. I took my camera and went out on the streets, railway stations, nature trails and learned practical photography all by myself. I knew I had the ability to capture moments, I enjoyed it. I truly enjoyed it. Those were the days when you were like a free bird scaling the heights of the sky, carefree, careless. I was clicking pictures not to convert the frame into rupees, but to create a masterpiece. No scope of errors, as you had to get it right. Technology sometimes kills the art, and almost always kills the artist. I later did a workshop with a renowned photographer. At my first meeting with him, he asked me, "What kind of photography was I interested in?" And he taught me the most important lesson of life without charging me a penny. I answered, "Nature photography." To that he asked me if I wanted to earn money or just keep clicking pictures all my life. I met him through my cousin who was a function photographer. Function photography is the photography done for a living. Photographs of roadside beggars and abstract artistic representations cannot always run a household. Function photography does. I learned nothing about photography from the workshop, but the most important lesson from it it was that photography was not only an art but also a business that's the one thing people who are artists at heart can never cope with i did a few photo shoots for mostly relatives friends and acquaintances and mostly always free i was a good artist but not a good businessman artistically inclined people more than often are not one that's the reason why mediocrity also sells be a jack of all trades not a master of one Like all the other expeditions of mine, I gave up on photography too. I did keep clicking pictures of my children and my wife. I did it well till the digital cameras arrived, and then the mobiles had cameras, and practically every single human being with that device became a photographer and adulterated the art form forever. Continue listening to the story of the Zygot in the next episode of Ban Maska Season Three, the most successful formula to be unsuccessful. Keep listening. Hey, there is this amazing book by a young author, Shahin Pardiwala, titled "Burn Out No More." If you're about to give your school or college exams, entrance tests of any kind, or simply any exam of life, maybe, then do grab a copy of this book, which helps you make exam stress go away without compromising results. Burnout No More is available on Amazon as an e-book and print book. For an author-signed copy, order at the link in the description of the podcast. Keep listening.